Hey Rifters, John here. Today we're going to be checking out Flying in Dreams. This game is a flying game, of course, that only requires the Oculus Rift to fly around, which is really cool. I really enjoy games that just require the Rift. They're always, they're always a lot more immersive than games where you have to have your controller, keyboard, and mouse. But anyway, as you can see here, you start out on the side of a plane as if you're going to jump out of it. You have all your information right here on the screen which is great. Since the game doesn't start right off the bat it's really good. It gives you time to put on your headphones and your Oculus Rift and read the instructions and everything so that's really great. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Now like I said before this game is solely controlled with the Rift. You can tilt your head to barrel roll. If you look up or down, you can do front and back flips. Let's go ahead and do a little flip here. Now you can actually crash, so if you hit these mountains or something, it will start over. Now if you don't have your VR legs yet or you get motion sickness, if you're going to play this one, I recommend taking it slow. At first, don't just start out by doing little twists and turns. Because it might make you sick. The terrain is, is not much to look at. But it is cool, it does give you something to fly around. Using the Oculus Rift to fly is really fluid and really natural. Which is really great, I mean, it's almost hard to crash. You could get pretty close to the ground without having to worry about crashing. This game would be really cool if there were some type of obstacles or something coins to collect, kind of like Epic Dragon. Or even stuff to have to fly through or around would really be cool in this game with some type of high scores that way you can challenge your friends to get the, who can get the highest scores and everything now I did try this one standing up which games in the rift standing up is a lot different than sitting down it's a little bit hard to keep your balance you tend to lean and stuff which is really cool I would show some footage of that. Unfortunately, my green screen is not big enough to do that. Let's go ahead and wreck into something just to show you guys that you can actually crash. What we do is a And when you crash, you just restart here, and all you have to do is press the space bar again. Drops you from the plane. As you can see, the plane is actually still flying around with you. Now it's moving a lot faster than you are. You, I don't think you can catch up to it. Unless, of course, you get in front of it. Like I said, this, the flying in this game is really fluid, and it's really natural and easy to do, which is really great. I 
hopefully the developer keeps working on this and starts to add more things, some more terrain or obstacles like I said before. Just something to give you something to do while you're checking this out. Because the concept of it is really cool. I mean, who, do, who doesn't always like to fly? I mean, even... I know some people are scared of flying. But who hasn't had those dreams where they're flying around? And this is really cool to do. Oh! Ouch. But anyway, guys, this was Flying in Dreams. If you do have your VR legs, I do recommend getting it right away. If you don't have your VR legs yet, you, if you do play this, you might want to take it a little bit easy at first just to get used to flying. Don't do any really big head movements because you will barrel roll and flip really easily. But it does come very naturally. Alright guys, as always, I'll leave links below for this game. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. If you liked the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.